Today, we are gonna do all the hard work for you and find the ultimate crumb for your chicken schnitzels. It's a great keto chicken schnitzel off <laughs> of 2021. There is a lot of crumbs behind us. We have got eight different chicken schnitzel crumb options. Well, I guess you could crumb anything with them really. Yeah, exactly. But we're going with chicken schnitzel as the base here. And we have got eight chicken tenderloins and we're gonna make all the different crumb types and taste test them. We'll cook them first. We will cook them first. <laughs> okay, so we have eight different options. Um, so I'm just gonna go through them all, but the first one I guess is the only pre-bought option, which is this PB Co low carb crumb. And this is the medium spicy flavor. Um, so it's a lupin based crumb. So we're gonna use this one as is. We're not adding any seasoning or anything to it. And we also have our recipe, which is for our sesame chicken tenders, which is a sesame seed based crumb. So we're gonna do that one as per the recipe. And then the six others are just different crumb varieties. And we have got this mingle all purpose seasoning which we're using kind of to season all of those other six just to keep it consistent so let's have a look at our crumb so we have coconut flour with some of the mingle all purpose seasoning we've got almond flour and pork grind so this is a 50 50 ratio with the mingle all purpose seasoning 50 50 pork rinds and grated parmesan cheese so we just used regular parmesan cheese from the supermarket that dan grated up in the thermomix and then this one is just plain pork rinds with the all-purpose seasoning plain almond flour with the all-purpose seasoning this is our sesame crumb recipe the pb and co low carb crumbs and then almond flour parmesan 50 50 with the all-purpose seasoning we've got our chicken tenders and then this is just an egg wash so and there was two eggs and just a splash of water that i whisked together so we're going to go chicken in here and then into each of our crumbs So, as you can see, we've got all of our chicken tenders crumbed and ready to go. So, I am just going to cook them. I'll probably just in like a little non-stick frying pan with a little splash of avocado oil, um, which is how I normally cook them. So we'll cook them all the same, and then we'll come back and do the taste test. The most important part, right? Which one do you think looks the nicest or most appealing? I will say you do have to be careful with almond flour because it, it burns. browns very quickly and a couple of the almond flour ones are probably a bit darker than what I would like. But both of the pork rind ones look all the yeah. pork rind ones actually look most like a chicken schnitzel to me. Yeah, and the PB code the low, one. Yeah, that looks the most different to all yes this, do you yeah okay, okay where are we gonna start um let's start up my end and work our way okay that way so this one is plain pork, pork rinds with the seasoning mix in it mm, i like that one mm, it's actually nicer than i thought it would mm. be i've never crumbed anything with plain pork rinds before you can Taste the pork rinds a bit at the end, to my, in my opinion. 
but a little bit but they give the nice texture i think mm, pretty good mm. nice flavor again. okay parmesan and pork rind which is a popular combination it hasn't yes. held the crumb on quite as well i wouldn't say maybe so it's 50 50 pork crumbed like crushed up pork rinds Do you want to grab and that bit? i will say it helps to get the pork rinds as fine as you can because otherwise they can be get quite hard mm. oh i prefer, I that, prefer one. that one yep you get the parmesan flavour, mm. but it adds a nicer texture to it or something. Crispiness. More mm. like crispiness from yeah. the, I guess, the cheese kind of melting on the pan. That's really nice. Pork rinds and parmesan. That's my That favorite. one's winning so, so far. far. Yeah. Okay, so almond flour and parmesan. This is probably the most popular option. And when I Googled kind of keto crumbs, most of the recipes were some sort of combination of almond flour and parmesan cheese. It's different to the pork rinds. I like the pork rinds better. Mm. God, it doesn't have the same texture. It's sort of soggier. Mm. Would you agree? Yeah. It's more... I don't know. It's kind of hard to put my finger on why i prefer mm. that one over that one still but i just prefer the flavor and the check texture mm. of the other one yeah probably. so so far pork rinds and parmesan is still winning this is plain almond flour which and it hasn't held well no. on to the chicken itself and all of the chicken got egg wash so there's just no flavor or anything no. texture flavor nothing not my favorite that offers nothing to me <laughs> all of the others have offered some form of flavor that hasn't offered texture flavor it would almost be better just grilled chicken <laughs> okay what about almond flour and pork rinds so 50 50 almond flour pork rinds that seems to be holding on to the chicken a bit better than the almond by itself would you yeah, say? Yeah, and I guess the this is a good kind of dairy-free option if you don't want to do parmesan mm. cheese. That's still mm. better than that. The pork rinds just mm. give a different texture than the they almond do. flour, don't they? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's okay. Still like the pork rinds and parmesan. Pork rinds and parmesan still winning. So, pure coconut flour. I was actually surprised. I didn't think this was going to work at all. But it seems to have held on to the chicken probably yeah. more than I thought it was going to. So I, I guess it's a good nut-free option if people don't want to have almond flour or can't have almond flour. I don't know how it tastes. I don't like the texture of that. Oh, you get the kind of Crumb. sandiness. Yeah. No. Yeah. And the flavour. I can taste coconut. The coconut. It was a wild card. We weren't going to do that one. No. We're like, let's just give it a try. I wouldn't do just coconut flour. Do you want me to cut yes, up this one? <laughs> so we have our Have Butter Will Travel Sesame Crumb. Now, we don't normally do that with an egg wash, but we did it to keep them consistent. all consistent across the, the board. It doesn't normally need it. That's my fork, is it? Yeah. I like that one. Mm. It certainly has a different flavour. You mm -hmm. do get the sesame flavour and it has a bit of salt and garlic in it. But obviously we like it because that's how we normally do it. Mm. Mm. I really like that one. You definitely get sesame flavour. So if you don't mm. like a kind of tahini style flavour, because it tastes mm. a bit like it's got yeah, tahini it on it. But I like that. Yeah. Um, and I think the texture is pretty comparable to some of the others yes um and i guess a, again a good nut free option for lunch boxes and things but completely different to the pork rinds and the parmesan's ones isn't it it's like yeah, a completely different, different yeah okay last, last one, one is the pb co which is a lupin now it i mean it looks also like like it's it's kind of spicy flavored so yeah so it's a bit harder to judge it but it held up pretty well. 
I don't like that. It doesn't get as crunchy as mm, some of the others. It is spicy. Mm. I, I don't like lupin flavour either. It's okay, but I don't think it's any worth like buying a special crumb no. mix. I reckon the pork yeah. rinds and parmesan is I, the winner. I think we have a winner. Half and half, 50-50 pork rinds and parmesan. With a bit of seasoning. Seem, yeah. All of them have had the same seasoning yeah. as we mentioned. Um, you could just do salt and pepper yeah. or any, any anything any, that you... Just like a bit of garlic powder, a bit of thyme. Just, you do want to make sure you season it, but yeah, pork rinds yeah. and parmesan. That's the winner. That's 100% the winner. But they're all like okay options as well like uh, probably not the coconut flour but the rest of them have been fine if you had to pick a second i would do that one because it's completely different to all of the others flavor wise yeah maybe maybe even maybe the, the pork the rinds by itself rinds or the pork rinds and almond flour i don't like the plain almond flour or the plain plain coconut and i could do without those low carb crumbs so any of these other ones i would have again Hopefully you've enjoyed this style of video because it was fun. It was kind of fun to film. There was a bit more work in it than a lot of our other videos. Um, but if you've enjoyed this type of video and you have a suggestion of what you would like us to do next, pop it in the comments below and we will give it a go. If you've enjoyed it, as always, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss other videos like this. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.